So from our sirloin that we've removed the rib section and rolled, we've got the remaining piece which is the lumbar area of the loin and here you can see a different colour. That's where the silver gristle actually goes within that muscle. This is what we term the degristle end and it, this muscle is actually a part of the rump lying over the sirloin and is termed as the degristle cut. Now often you will see that one or two of these are actually supplied with the sirloin. It's not the same quality and eating experience as this centre cut. So I'm going to remove that at the point where the gristle and this pointed muscle finishes. So that you can see now that eye muscle there is the same at the other end. So we have now a centre portion of the sirloin. Again, this can be used for quality steaks or if we wished, again, a roasting joint. Again, checking the length of the tail, checking underneath, we can just then cut into steaks of a required thickness. What I will show though is if I take three steaks from this piece, a further trim according to what specification you want your steak. We can leave that steak as it is, but maybe just trimming the fat level to a nice smooth even thickness. We can reduce the length of that tail so that we've got a nice compact but not lengthy tail and we can actually remove the whole of the tail so we've just got that natural fat. In fact if we do the next steak we will remove all of the fat and the tail to just leave us the quality eye muscle of the sirloin. So four simple specifications of a sirloin steak from our boneless sirloin.